90 seconds and count. Eighty seconds and count. Launch area to capsule. Is everything go, Mr. Morton? Everything is go. We're ready to launch. Aye, sir. Okay, you jokers. Out on the double. Come on. Condition red. Clear the Come launch on. area. Sea View, the SpaceX Pressure Agency. Sea View to SEA, come in, please. SEA to Sea View, go ahead. This is Nelson. All systems for experimental underwater launch are go. Make it a good one, Nelson. Well, don't worry, General. After three orbits around the Earth, we'll bring them back safe and sound. T-minus 40 seconds in count. SEA to Sea View. All antennas prepared to track from liftoff. Orbital test flight is go. Fifteen seconds and counting. Spacecraft umbilical is ejected. Ten seconds and counting. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Maneuvering. Trim port side ballast. Contact. Altitude 100 miles. Velocity 70,500 miles per hour. Capsule still locked on. Spacecraft separation, surface range 508 miles. Watch for malfunction on the orange and red signals. Check orange and red signals for any malfunctions. Station 5. CB to flight. CB to flight, come in, ship. CB to flight. CB to flight, come in, ship. Flight to Sea View. We cannot read you. Flight to Sea View, can you read us? Flight to Sea View. I can't turn it off, it keeps coming through. Lost him completely to 
signals disappeared. Reserve power in. Recircuit. They couldn't have destructed it. Oh, well, we've seen that. No, there was nothing on the tracking scope but a thin beam of light. Reserve power in. Huh. Still nothing. Add the reactor, Posky. Aye, aye, sir. Space agency to see view. Yes, General. We've lost the capsule on our screen. Do you have a reading? Negative. We're trying to reestablish communication. We have no sign of them at all. The capsule is probably orbiting out of control. Yes, I'm going to duplicate the mission with our backup vehicle. If we can rendezvous with them, we might be able to pick them up. Negative, till I clear it with Washington. But we've got two men up there. Negative, till clearance. Look, I'm not going to throw their lives away. Prepare the backup mission. We'll have clearance before blast-off. Now start the pre-countdown operation. Control to rocket launch area. Attention, launch crew. Commence pre-countdown operations for launch of test vehicle two. Repeat. Commence pre-countdown operations for launch of test vehicle two. Move vehicle into position and fuel up. Aye, sir. All right, you heard him. Let's move. On the go. Come on. Hey, Chief. Yeah? What about a crew for the capsule? Well, they have backup astronauts on shore, and I guess uh, the skipper or maybe the admiral will ride co-pilot, just like... Well, just like Mr. Morton did. Okay? Let's move. Something odd. Gravity point four eight. Maybe the instrument was affected by the shock of the landing. Flight to Sea View. Come in. Flight to Sea View. Can you read us? You better take a look outside. Earthquake country. Never seen anything like it. Nelson to Space Agency. SEA, come in, please. This is SEA, Admiral. Go ahead. Is your backup astronaut on his way here? He's standing by until we get authorization. Have you found out why your communications failed? No, but I don't think we'll have any trouble this time. We've just installed our new laser beam tracker in the system. And uh, Captain Crane is checking out the second capsule. I'll keep in touch. 
UHF, Unit 4. Testing, Unit 4. Go ahead, Skipper, Unit 4. has happened down there. Admiral, the, the capsule and Captain Crane, they, they're gone. The devil are you talking about? We're in the middle of countdown. There was no blast off. Yes, sir, I know. I know that, but the capsule is gone, sir. Admiral, the tracker, it's tracking. According to that, the capsule's in flight. SEA to sea view. Oh. Go ahead, General. Admiral, our monitors show your test vehicle in flight. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm checking into it. Did you get direct clearance from Washington? No. Oh, look, stand by. I'll, I'll get back to you. Check the computer. Aye, sir. Oh, Admiral, sir. The computer speed of the capsule, Admiral. The speed. 186,000 miles per second, the speed of light. And they're heading for the... Headed for where, sir? The planet Venus. <laughs>
When does Earth plan to invade the planet Centaur? Earth plans no invasion. Have you made explorations of the moon? Yes. Have you explored this planet, Venus? Venus? Yes. Only by remotely controlled space vehicles. Have you explored the planet Mars? Only by remotely controlled space vehicles. What is your next objective? Chip, get out of there! Centaur, in a distant part of this galaxy. We brought you both here to our scouting outpost on Venus. Scouting outpost, why? To find out why you Earth people are invading other planets. What your capabilities are for invading Centaur. We've never even heard of Centaur. We do not believe you. You will tell us. Uh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll tell you what you want to know, without this. Now first, uh, let me explain to you how our equipment compares with yours. You see, uh, your electrons uh, depend on photon operation. Ours, on the other hand, uh, don't have the similar... <laughs> All of our indicators say so. If you don't get Washington to move, I'll do the job myself. Admiral, we're ready with the picture from the capsule's TV camera. Kowalski, try to raise Captain Kern. Aye, sir. Sea view to test module two. Sea view to test module two. Come in, test module two. Earthman, resistance is useless. Surrender. You cannot fight us. Admiral, there's got to be something we can do to give the skipper a hand. Chief, is the remote control of the capsule still on standby? Aye, sir. And give manual control to the captain of all components. I said. Lee? Lee? I don't know if you can hear me. This is Nelson. You now have manual control of all components. We do not wish to kill you. We only want to take you to Centaur, our planet. The answer is no! Do you wish to die here? I don't wish to die anywhere! Within six hours, this side of Venus will be under the direct gravitational pull of the sun. 
Once a month, the ground is torn apart. Everything goes into convulsion. Nothing survives. Come with us. You don't need us on Centaur. Send us back to Earth. I'm still trying to figure out if this is real or some kind of a nightmare. It's, it's real enough. We've tracked you. You're on the planet Venus. But how did I get here? Well, that's one of the things we're trying to figure out ourselves. Uh, Chip and Wilson with you. Oh, uh, Wilson's dead. Uh, Chip's here, but he's, uh, he's been captured. Captured? He... Now, look, uh, I'll try to get Chip away. But if I do, what happens to us? Uh, somehow you'll, you'll just have to try to survive up there. I've already got wheels turning in Washington to send up a rescue mission. Uh, that'll take months. And I've just found out that this side of Venus is due to be hit by a solar storm in about six hours. Try to get Chip back to the space capsule. You might be able to ride out the storm inside. All right, Admiral. I'll get the Chip. We'll, uh, we'll manage somehow. from the space vehicle. It is a chemical combustion under pressure. How is it stopped? By a control inside the capsule. Who is the Earth man whose voice I heard? One named Nelson. Admiral Nelson is our chief. He is over all of us. Then he knows all about these space vehicles? Yes. He is in charge of their movements? Of this test flight you were on? Yes. Centa. Centa. <laughs> An important one who can give us the best information.
exact pinpoint of Crane's location. Has Washington approved the rescue mission? Affirmative. We're starting a 72-hour countdown on a rescue capsule to be launched from here. Am I clear to go along? You are. Roger, out. Admiral, that's, that's much too late. They only have six hours before that solar storm hits. Then they'll have to survive till we get there, won't they? Admiral. Same kind of being as those other ones when Commander Morgan, Captain Crane disappeared. Mm-hmm. Well, this time, it's coming straight toward us. What do you think it means, sir? It could... It could mean an invasion. Sharky, sound general quarters. Aye, sir. to Nelson. Who are you? You are isolated. You have no communication with the rest of your planet. I repeat, who are you? Centaur to Nelson. I am coming aboard. You try to board us, it's the last thing you'll ever do. Dive, dive! All dive, all dive! of these men, of the others we brought to the planet Venus. I want to know what you are and what you're doing here. I came for you. Well, that's very interesting. What do you want with me? All the knowledge contained in your mind. We wish to learn all there is to know about the ability of Earth people to penetrate space. Why? Any invaders are a potential threat to us. We must know your plans, your capabilities, so we may defend against them. We're not invaders, so why should you want to defend yourself against us? You launched a space vehicle from this ship you call Seaview. A trial flight, yes. There will be others to follow. Eventually, you will reach the outer limits of this galaxy. When you do, we will be ready to destroy you. And you want me to tell you how you can accomplish that destruction? Yes. You made a, a long trip to Earth for nothing. Take him! Do not try anything so foolish again. The next time my forces will be applied directly against all of you. All right. What now? First, I wish to examine this vessel. You will act as my guide. Well, you see, I, I'm... Uh... I'm needed here. I'll uh, assign someone else. Uh, 
Uh, Kowalski. Aye, sir. And after you've completed your tour of inspection? I will transport this vessel and you back to my planet. <laughs> That's impossible. You forget. We have already done this with two of your space vehicles. We can transform mass of any size into light energy and transport it at will. You will take me through the ship. Sir. Go ahead. Pass the word to all hands. Stand by for battle alert. Uh, no intercoms. Uh, word of mouth to transceivers only. Now move out on the double. These are like red-hot steel bars on my neck. All right, now just, uh, just hold on a minute. Spaceships don't travel at the speed of light. It would take them at least three months to get here. They tell me the ground on this side of Venus gets torn apart by the sun once a month. That doesn't give us much of a choice. Die here or on their planet? No, Chip, there's another choice. Survive. Now, if we can get back to the capsule, at least we'll have rations and some protection. But first, I want to check out their instrumentation. It might help us. Now, come on. That's it. No easy. Here, wait a minute. Just let me go first now. Come on. Yes, sir? He's on his way to you now. Hit him when I give the alarm. Aye, sir. You'll get help from every part of the boat. Yes, sir. This is a missile. Our heavy weapons. Missile to control. Mr. Dalton. He's here, sir. They're gone. Tell your Admiral Nelson I will examine his reactor room. Then I will deal with him, his ship, and his crew.
Control to missile room. Chief, do you hear me? Kowalski. Patterson. Chief. Admiral, it's, uh, it's no use. It's just too much for us. Like, uh, like getting hit by lightning. It's, it's that white orb he carries. Well, it can't be just the orb. There's got to be a power source he uses. That, that beam he came in on. Can you pull yourself together? We'll launch the flying sub. I'm going to attack his power source. Right, sir. Earth man. You will learn nothing there. Now move away. What happened, Lee? You okay? I'm all right. I can see. Did they blind you with this? Yes, it must be wearing off. All right, keep watching. Let's see if this can give us some help with the instrumentation here. set now to send us back? Yes, but only centaurs can operate it. Then you'd better do it. Now, this place could come down any minute. You want to die here? It will send us to Earth. Turn power to maximum and activate. Can we trust him? We don't have any other choice. This is Centaur on Earth. I need maximum power. Activate. Maximum power is required to transfer the Earth submarine to Venus. Activate at once. If I turn up the power, he'll have a sea view here. If we don't get back to Earth, we're dead. All right. We'll try to stay alive in the capsule. Move. I need maximum power. Activate. Something must have gone wrong with the main controls. We will return to Venus without the sea view.
What do you make of it, Chief? Mm. That blasted bean was there again, but it, it's gone now. Does that mean the, the Admiral and the Flying Sub are gone, too? Like the Skipper and Mr. Morton? Look, kid, I don't know what it means. The Navy I was brought up in sailed on the water, not, not through the sky. But if they are all up there on that planet, how are we going to get them back? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. Nothing. That's what. Nothing? But, Chief... Just listen to me, kid. You will see them come back down here. Believe me. Are you sure about that? I'm sure, I'm sure. With both the Admiral and the Skipper up there and Mr. Morton. Are you kidding? Listen, Patterson, the only guys in trouble are those aliens who snatched them in the first place. Just tell me when they're heading back here. I want to be ready to really pipe them aboard. I guess you're right, Chief. They've gotten out of rougher waters than these. Yeah, you bet your sweet life I'm right. Just take it from me. They're not in any trouble at all. At all! Capsule. At least we'll have some protection. Come on. We're set to return you. Activate them. Not at the risk of bringing Seaview and its crew up here. What if I show you how we can prevent that? How we can get off this planet? Maybe too late now. No. I can return us to the cave with the orb. Let me have it. Now, will you just show me how to work it? I'll get us back. No. Tell me! Tell me or we'll all die here! Turn it with your fingertips until three impulses are felt. It's 
Chief. Another beam and headed this way again. Kowalski Sound General Quarters. Hey, what a feast for the eyeballs this is. You all look so good, I could kiss you. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I thought, well, uh, welcome back aboard, gentlemen. Uh, believe me, Chief, we're happy to be back. So what happened? Were you really up there on Venus? Huh? How'd you get there, and, 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 and how'd you get back? Uh, and what? Easy, easy, Chief. We'll, we'll give you all the details in good time. Captain. It's a radio inquiry from a lecture bureau. They want to know if I'd be interested in making a tour. The subject to be the safety and convenience of making future interplanetary flights. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, why you think that an appropriate reply? <laughs> Head us back for port, will you?